Hey, what's going on, peeps? Crips and Dragon here, and we're back with some more of one twenty-three, and we are going to the Spanish GP, uh, chapter ten. Uh, the F one calendar waits with for no one. While Casper and Andreo work to secure a permanent replacement for Devin, the team must turn its attention to the Spanish GP. Uh, what is this going to bring us? What's in the news? What really happened to Devin? The rumor mill is full force. Andreo, have you spoken to her yet? Uh, yes, we've spoken. And what did you say? She'll be around this weekend. She agreed to come and see me. You mean you haven't asked her yet? Of course not. It's a delicate situation. Uh, I'm sure she has an idea, but... Uh... Look, it's not just something you casually ask over the phone, is it? Why not? Come on. <laughs> this is potentially life-changing for her. And the whole family situation needs to be handled with a little, you know, care and respect. Well, when you're the one that knows her, just make sure she says yes and fast. <laughs> I'm finding it difficult to keep fielding questions about the future of Conesport. Yeah, I read part of that interview. Could almost feel you squirm. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, I'll call you as soon as I know. <laughs> oh, Andreo, Andreo, man. Stuck in a corner. Really sucks that, uh. Found out about Devin this late in the game and to the point where he just ups and leaves already. Man. If, uh. Well, we knew a little bit sooner and everything, you know, we can slowly work on try to find somebody possibly, but uh, knowing the details of what happened and all of a sudden just up and me, that's, that's the worst of it. Possibility he might be back. There's a route that he can they can go with this whole story. Sees a doctor, pays a doctor, gets his hearing fixed, he turns back, causes the same mischief and mayhem that he always has. Mm. Zoe Ackerman. That usually does, saying that kind of thing. Off to the race. Spanish GP, Chapter 10. Racing with the team's reserve driver, Connor Sports look to Aiden Jackson to help keep them afloat in the standings while a more permanent replacement for Devin is arranged. Come on, we already know that Cal is going to say yes. We already know that. 
So many eventful races here in Barcelona over the years. Do you remember Espanya. Max Verstappen's first win on debut for Red Bull here in 2016? Two years before, we had the dramatic coming together of Hamilton and Rosberg going towards turn four. There's always a treat in store as we head back to the Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya for the Spanish Grand Prix. It's an updated track at Catalunya and we welcome the removal of the chicane in the final sector, shortening lap times and reducing the total running to 2.9 miles and 14 turns. This was actually the original setup for the track that hasn't been used since 2007. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position. Sergio Perez lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, Norris, Hamilton, Gasly, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Joe, Sargent, Bottas, Jackson, Magnussen, Ocon, oh, Hockenberg, De Vries, Stroll, Albon, Stroll. It's almost time Stroll for those five red lights to go out then. Let's see who can prevail today. Yeah, there's some names in here that uh, they say that they don't even Welcome pronounce. to the wonderful Catalonia. It's time for the Spanish Grand Prix this weekend. Oh, and whilst the season like is just Merc. a few races old, it's already been one full of drama. So, Natalie Pinkham, who have you got your eye on this weekend? Well, in Formula One, naturally, the conversation is drawn towards those at the top of the standings, both drivers and teams. But I'm really intrigued by the midfield team of Connor Sport. Devon Butler's absence will definitely be felt. There's no doubt about that, both on and off the track. For me, the interesting thing will be how they move forward without him. Indeed, almost as many battles off the track as there are on it for Connor Sport at the moment. Kasper Ackerman and his team certainly have their work cut out for them this weekend. Yeah, we do. I know it's been a mad few weeks, mate, but you've always gone well here, so let's get your head down and see what we can do. Come on. Alright, race strategy. Default is to go to the hearts. Pit that eight. What is this? I don't understand the... Yeah, it's the hard. Go to soft to the hard. I want to go soft to the mediums. Yep. Yep, yep. Well, technically, it's the same thing as this one. Doesn't matter which one I pick now, it's the same thing. Let's see if I can do better in this start of the race this time. At least I didn't have a false start this time.
Dang it, dang it, dang it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come on, why did you stop like that? That was on you. Okay, DRS is now available. Gotta be. There we go. Oh. I know it's been a mad few weeks, mate, but you've always gone well here, so let's get your head down and see what we can do. Come on. <sighs> well, we're in a different position. That was a good start. Oh, 
Oh my god, we're position 18, now 19? Oh, come on. I know I won a little bit harder, but they didn't have to put me get back that far. Crap. Not a good way to start. Shit. Duck on the inside, duck on the inside. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. That was not a nice move. Come on, who are you kidding? Where's the track limit warning?
Ah, come on. I just continue driving like this, I should be alright. Because she's gonna be on mediums as well. At least Alonzo is. Now, what? Um. Shane's dude. I got no idea what he's on. But he's gotta be like, oh no, he could be like seven, six. So, I got no idea. I'm losing, I'm losing ground. They were at 3.8, now they're like in the 4. Our gap to the current front is 3.7 seconds. Not anymore.
Cena with Boxing Pistler. right there. Two cars ahead. Okay, be careful. We think you're going to start losing some tire grip any time now. Both in. Dang it. Okay, mate, that's it. Go, go, go. Perfect job on the turn in there, mate. Looks like a nice stop time. We're happy with that one. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. There's a lawn right there in front of us. Let's stay off the grass and hopefully catch up. turn 
gap ahead is 1.6 seconds. Five laps of fuel remaining.
OK, the car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap starting to form. Front is 1.7 seconds. See you in Park Fermi. Top 10. I don't think we got the... Uh... So it's Aiden Jackson propping up Connorsport here today. But the big news off the track is the speculation about this team, whether or not they'll see out the season with their current lineup. Well, I think they'll have to sign a new driver, Crofty. It's a gamble worth taking. Well, the mid-season signing will get us all talking, I'm sure, but time will tell. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on Hamilton the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everybody at the team. Yeah, we all know how that goes. Shake hands, pop bottles. Well, Cotter Sport are in a bit of an odd situation right now. So just tell me, what is it like for you today? No, uh, it doesn't matter who my team, uh, it's pretty strange, but you do what you can. Yeah, uh, not so long ago, my teammate was Devon, and um, we had a plan sorted out for the rest of the season. Uh, now it's Noah, and uh, for the last couple of races, uh, suddenly nobody's quite sure what the situation is. I've never had to drive in this, this, this situation before, so it's all pretty strange, but you do what you can. Most importantly, how is Devon? And how are you finding it without your teammate? Uh, Devon will be back. Well, I can't say that for sure. I never thought I'd say this, but I do miss him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're all concerned about him. Uh, um, yeah, I know as much as everybody else. So, you know, I saw what happened. I'm obviously very worried for him and as is everybody else. And... You know, I know he's not fit to drive for us right now. As far as I know, he's working super hard to return to the sport, and, um, yeah, I wish him well. Well, there's a lot of talk about what happens if Devon doesn't return. Would Connor Sport be looking for a new driver, do you think? 
Uh, we're good with our current lineup. Uh, that's a question for Casper. Uh, there's a lot of young talent out there. Uh, it's too soon to talk about that. It's still Devin C as far as I'm concerned. Kind of like that. But I don't have this, I'm pretty sure. Um, I really like this answer here. Question for Casper. I don't want to step on his toes. Yeah, uh, I'm going to do it. That sounds like a question for Casper. Um, I know they need to plan for every every situation. That's just the nature of the sport. But you know, if those discussions are happening, I'm definitely not involved with that. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, I didn't want to step on Casper's toes and everything else in case I say the wrong thing or whatever. But anyway, Spanish GP post raise. With the Spanish GP in the books, Connor Sports set their sights on securing their driver lineup for the remainder of the 23 season. Connor Sports replacement is new driver in time for. Azerbaijan? Hey, Casper, you wanted to speak to me? Yes, I did. Shoot. Uh, nothing made you really. Um, to be honest, I just wanted to thank you. Oh. What for? I'm, you know, just doing my job. No, it's more than that. Uh, well, I know why you stayed on the team. And, uh, well, I won't lie to you, it, it's not been easy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can say that again. Yeah, but you really stepped up. It's good for me to know that I've got someone like you to rely on. Always. Yeah. Look, Aiden, I'll warn you, things may not get any easier, at least not for a while, but, um, well, we've got something in the pipeline, a potential new driver and a damn good one. Who is it? <laughs> I can't say, not, not yet. It's a bit of a gamble, but if they agree, we could have something special. Nice. And, um... How is Devon? Fine. I think... Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, Davidoff has closed the door on that one, but... Yeah, he tells me Devon is in a good place, though. Oh, that's good. That's good. Just you know, keep doing what you're doing, okay? And now, just get out of here. Of course. I'll catch you later, Casper. Uh... Okay, our reserves to the rescue. Stepping up to the plate. We're really happy to Devin. Remember Mill and full force. Trackside chats and Dreo speaks out about Devin. It's a private time in the team, the question. I don't remains on the team, Connor says. He is speaking, uh, seeking treatment for medical issues that we're not at liberty to disclose right now. Uh, so it turns out was a medical issue for Devin, although this the uh, first time we've heard anything well, from Connor Sports about it. Uh, I was confirming. When will we know more? That's up to Devin. Okay. We've got to miss season driver swaps or rotating cast. I'm not really sure if any of this is like repeats or what. Uh, points are points, but we all know we can do better than this. You can do better than this. Uh, has a thing with Bower rattle him? Uh, do you think? I feel there, uh, like there's absolute, obviously some bad vibes between those two, but in some ways I think they might be good for each other. Maybe Devin, maybe Devin going has uh, knocked him a bit. 
Justin saying he wishes Devin well. Do you really go, Aiden? Do you really wish him well? Uh, I'm sure he does. Yeah, he's have to be pretty evil. He'd have to be pretty evil to actually wish poor health on another driver. Obviously, he was. It was a point about their relationship, not Bowler's health. Mm. Devin Bowler, Kelly, Casper, this remains uh, against my better judgment. But you and Andrea seem convinced this is the right direction for the team. Let me know in the second you have spoken to her. I want updates to instantly happen. Well done. Update soon, team. I know it's. Uh, we know that Devin will be. not will not be joining us again this season. We appreciate all you done to make this work in easy time. Now David Owens has been in touch. One minute he's saying Callie's the right choice. The next minute he's saying she's at risk. Uh, would you like me to like me at the meeting with Callie? I'm happy to, I'm happy either way. Uh oh. Hey, boss, got a couple of minutes. Sim racing opportunity. Aiden has been approached to help promote the F1, an F1 racing event. He agreed to take part without consulting us. With us first, and the event has already announced its participation on social media. Should we set still let him attend? Yes, it's annoying that he didn't talk to us about it first, but getting his face out there is good exposure. No, there are enough distractions going on. Uh, it's not ideal, but let's see if we can uh, agree for him to attend video over video. Uh, he can keep his commitments without having to leave the team to do so. Yeah, it's compromise. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Why are you hesitating? You've always dreamt of racing in F1. Not like this. Do you know what he did? Oh, your father? He refused to support me. Said he'd only fund one of his children. Said Devon had better prospects. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Mum used the divorce settlement to help me out, but... And you're only here because he sent you. No. This was my idea, my decision. And this is me asking you, Callie, not your father. We need a replacement and ask for you because I know how good you are. And that's the truth. I always said I'd do it on my terms, not his. I'll look out for you. Just like I did in F2. Will you keep him away from me? I'll hmm. do everything in my power. Everything to make sure that all you have to think about is driving. Have we got a deal? You might never get this opportunity again. You know that. Man, I just love the facial uh, movements and everything that they put into this game. I just love that. Uh, whatever. Uh, GP, several weeks later. Uh, with current F2 champion Kali Ma Mayer now on board, Casper and the team at Connor Sports hope that uh, stability on the roster will help uh, Gardner, the results uh, needed to keep pace 
in the competitive midfield of the F1 grid. So we got Cali. Well, at first Should we, we had, take a look at this, please. At first we had but uh, Devin. That oh man, he was pushing all the right buttons and everything. He wanted me to basically pit him off on the track, pin him on the track and everything, you know, and do a pit maneuver and stuff like that. Just oh, really irritating me and stuff. But um, and uh. <laughs> Now we got uh, Kelly with daddy issues. Oh man. This is awesome. This is just going great. Anyways, uh, great news. One of our sponsors has unexpectedly paid a bonus early. There are a number of ways we can use this money. The question is where should we invest it? Uh, getting more performance out of the car is a paramount. A happy team is a productive team. Let's reward them for all the hard work and uh, feed this back into the bonus pot. Uh, our factory facilities still fall behind those of our competitors. Uh, further investment here will help us for years to come. Oh, man. Factory would get us boosted. Boost us up and uh, get us doubled up with the competitors. Should the team will boost morale, I'm sure, and everything else. And they've been working hard and stuff like that. I know it's not their fault and stuff like that with what happens with the cars and everything. You know, there's always. Something that's going to be overlooked, and that's what could that one thing could cause the cars to break down and everything else, and we end up D DNF. Um, I, 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 as much as I like the car and everything, I don't think that's the right way to go. I have a feeling it's one of these two. I really want to boost the team. I think they deserve it. Davidoff. They stopped me entering the garage just because Callie's in there. It's ridiculous. We've had this conversation. You need to give her space. I'll humor you for now. I don't like being told where I can and can't go around here. Don't forget, you talked me into this. What does that mean? Talked you into what? Signing Kelly in the first place. I'm just allowing you to take credit for it, that's all. Yeah, it sounds like you're trying to blame me. Well, if you're right about it, there'll be no blame to allocate, will there? Anything else? You're a busy man. I'll let you go. wonder where Devin gets it his arrogance from and everything and no wonder why Callie wants to stay away from him man arrogance anywho welcome aboard Callie yada 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 talking about how good Callie is and everything Welcome her to F1, to the team, so on and so forth. <sighs> no wonder why she didn't want the butler name. That too. Ha! Uh, glass here in Sherry Kelly ends a 31 year wait. What's on social? Anything exciting? You know, you know, I'll talk about Kelly and welcoming her to F1. Yeah, 
Yo, 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 yo. Devin Heaven, we will once he gets better. Once he's ripe to be on that track. Interviews with Calhoun. Jeez, I'm crow. Don't look too bad of a race. Oh, we're driving as Cali. This is an interesting race. We're going counterclockwise, too. Interesting. Uh, race day. With the word... Uh, World Watcher Kelly looks to make history as she approaches her first start behind the wheel of an F1 car. History has made here today as Callie Mayer, Connor Sports' latest signing, becomes the first female driver of the modern era to participate in an F1 race. What a moment! I've got goosebumps. Now, for those of you wondering at home, only a handful of women have entered at least one Grand Prix over the years, but none have even had the opportunity to qualify since 1992. Italy's Giovanna Amati, for those of you wondering. So today is very much a new dawn here in Baku. And Maya was impressive in qualifying, so let's see what the Grand Prix has in store for her. Yeah, I have to say, it is quite a tight-knit pack out there. Fierce competition all round. I really wouldn't want to call this one. Indeed. We've seen some brilliant driving here today, especially from young Callie Mayer. She seems to have made the transition to F1 as if she was born for it. Oh, Lord, don't let me screw this up. OK, Callie, really good start. Keep it up. I'm not finished yet. Oh, God. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Oh, that was jacked up. Oh, come on. Okay, Kelly, really good start. Keep it up. I'm not finished yet. Okay, I've got a brand new race strategy on your MFT if you want to go and check it out. Oh, come on, man. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Wow, this car does not like to break. Okay, Kelly. Really good start. Keep it up. I'm not finished yet. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. 
Brilliant. Nice move. Keep going. seconds. We might need to look at a new race strategy after that. I've got some options for you, so go and check your MFT. Dang it, I didn't, oh, I forgot about the pig thing. Okay, go, go, go. That stop was slower than we ideally wanted to see. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Did that with 35 and a half seconds behind Jackson. Jackson Pitts, we're, we're not going to make this. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm uh, you're okay, please. How can you not break? Okay, Kelly. Really good start. Keep it up. I'm not finished yet.
work, mate. That brings you up a place. Jets is right ahead of me. So far, so good. This race is going well. Getting this track a little Here bit better. Here comes Callie Mayer closing in on her teammates. She's practically on top of me. Aiden, calm down. You're on different strategies. Just let Callie pass. Okay, Callie. Aiden's going to let you pass at the next corner. Let's go. Copy. Will Mayer get past her teammate now? Here she comes with this contact. Contact between the two Connor Sport drivers. Oh, Jackson's cop. out. He gets the worst of it. Mayer's clear. Jackson's damage looks bad. I think you're right, Crofty. His race is over. Mayer seemed to catch Jackson unawares, though. I'm not sure why. What was that? Why didn't she wait for me to move over on the exit? OK, Aiden, are you all right? It's just another butler. Ugh. Yeah, I know, Callie. I'm sorry about that, but it's happened now. It's over. Let's get your head down and focus. Come on. We'll talk about it later. Copy. with five laps of fuel remaining, five laps of fuel left.
Ah oh, no! Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Oh! Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Man! Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. I knew I broke way too late. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Catching the car ahead very quickly now. Keep it up. Okay, that's us with five laps of fuel remaining. Five laps of fuel left. behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. Well done.
Good work. Great pass. Okay, push, push, gap to the car behind, 1.7 seconds.
Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Well, in spite of the drama amongst those at the top of the standings, so much of the discussion today is centred around honour sport. Absolutely. A bittersweet race for them today. One historic debut, one DNF. I mean, you couldn't write it. And talking of that debut, what did you make of Callie Mayer's first ever start? Well, I am so excited to see Callie racing in F1. It is great for the sport. She is a phenomenal talent. I can't wait to see what the season holds and her career as a whole. And if today is anything to go by, the name Callie Mayer is one that we'll be watching with a lot of interest for many years to come. Yeah, let's see what happens. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. Yeah, uh, yeah, we know the outcome. Post race. Uh, not an ideal start. Uh, misunderstanding between the two teammates forced Aiden to retire from the race in Baku. And do you feel extra pressure at Connor Sport? It must be difficult with your dad looking over your shoulder. <sighs> Look, it's F1. It's not possible for me to feel any more pressure than I already do. So, no, it's not an issue. Kelly, have you felt any pushback from anyone in the F1 world, just with you being the first female driver in the sport? No, everyone's been amazing. And I'm not the first, I'm just the latest. How's your brother? Are you really just keeping his seat warm? Uh, you'd have to ask him that, um, but he is getting the help that he needs. And no, I have no intention of giving up this seat. What happened out there between you and Aiden today? Uh, it's just a mix-up. Um, I, I thought he was letting me through on the entry, but he clearly had other ideas. We spoke to him earlier, and he said he was deliberate on your part. Any comments on that? Uh, it was just a misunderstanding. You've always gone by Mayor, and now you're in a team financed by your father, driving in your brother's seat. Would you go back to the butler name? Should have expected it, right? I thought you did. That's not what I mean. I mean, I'm a woman. I get it. I'm happy to talk about it. Then what is it? Well, it's always the same, isn't it? So you're a woman, and then every question about Dad, about Devon, about the butler, name. Just forget about it. Oh, I can never get away from it, can I? The only question about the race was about Aiden. Well, you know, maybe if we'd let it run a little longer, there would have been... Casper? Don't defend them. Sorry, you're right. Sorry. <sighs> Look, it's fine. I'll be faster next time. The incident at Baku, do you think she did it on purpose? She did do it on purpose. Yeah, check the footage. So you didn't warn to her? We weren't the best of friends, no. All right, well. Oh, it's interesting. I hope we didn't get another Devin on the team. Hey, Mum. Callie, I couldn't be prouder, darling. Well done. Oh, thanks, Mum. It was a good race. Felt great out there. Oh, it was a, a good, good race. Oh, no, what is it? What, what do you mean, what is it? What's what? I can hear it in your voice, Mum. It was a good race. No, it's nothing. Go on. No, no, it's just that... You didn't do it on purpose, did you? <laughs> when you clipped poor Aiden. I can't believe you're even asking me. Did you really raise your daughter to behave like that? Well, I'm really not sure. It was an accident, Mum. I'm, I'm hanging up. It was. Uh, bye, darling. Lots of love. Ooh, mommy, really? <sighs> mommy, why did you go and say something like that? Accusing me. Accusing your daughter or something. Sheesh. This race by anyone's standards. An impressive debut of Kelly Mayer on Corner Sports Day here in Baku. Uh, valuable points uh, for the team with after a difficult few weeks. Jeez. 
shame about Jackson. It would have been interesting to see what car which Connor Sports uh, teammate came out on top today. Uh, does anyone really think he'd have done better than eighth? First start, fastest lap, no problems, says Mayor. Uh, you could really see the talent on display during that lap. She was clinical. Your toys are all flying in. It's uh, all very encouraging, but we need to figure out how to manage your time. Yeah. Mother Lunch Kelly, just a quick one. Uh, I've got a few media types I could introduce you to that might benefit you in the long run if you could develop a relationship. Uh, we need. Uh, uh, we know you had a, to make do with a few generic fittings today, so that's for that. For so, thanks for that. All the parts uh, we measured uh, for will be ready ahead of the next race. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. British GPs are weeks later, within an in. A spacious start to their new driver lineup. Connor Sports hope to hope for more consistency as they head to historic Silverstone. Hey, boss, got another one for you. Uh, team interview. Uh, Connor Sports is scheduled to take par uh, part in a feature article for a leading motorsports news website. Uh, senior management and the drivers have been requested to attend a photo shoot and interview after the upcoming uh, Austri Austrian GP. There was an issue though. Kelly is refusing to attend due to Davidoff's attendance. How should we handle this? Oh man, unfortunately. Okay, so we can't go with the oppose. We don't have the, uh, the ability to. Uh, Kelly's relationship with her father is complicated. Uh, but the team comes first. Uh, the pair of them are going to have to put on a brave face. Oh, man, I wish I could have done that. Uh, Kelly's relationship with her father is complicated. I think it would be best to let her sit this one out. Besides, she's had a lot of press, uh, press attendance already this season. Perhaps they focus on the Connor Sports Management team might round things out a little. Uh, Kelly's complicated, uh, same thing, but her attendance in the shoot is non-negotiable. Both Aiden and Kelly need to be uh, to be front and center as the faces of Connor Sport. And appreciation in uh, the delicate situation, though, uh, in the interest of letting Kelly shine, we'll tell Devinoff he cannot attend. Whatever his reaction. Oh man. Um. So this one's saying that Devinoff can't show up. This one is saying that Callie can do her own thing and not show up. We're gonna have to compromise. Uh, your old friend, former F1 driver and current journalist Lucas Weber, has been in touch. He's keen to do a piece on what takes what it takes to be a team principal in F1. I know you and Lucas have a great relationship, but the PR department is concerned that your history and friendship is so well known amongst the fans that they will think of it as a puff piece and will dismiss it outright. How would you like to proceed? Once again, we cannot compromise. Um, Lucas is a professional. I know he isn't afraid to ask the hard questions and I would expect nothing less from him. Let's do it. 
uh, I think that uh, they're right. It doesn't matter how much uh, we spin it. Everyone knows me and Lucas are friends. I'll tell him about it privately, but I don't think it's a good idea. No, we're going to have to go with confirm on this one. Damn, performance went down. But at least the reputation went up. That stinks. Connor Sport versus Connor Sport. New drivers, same old rivalry. Andreo? You seen this latest article doing the rounds today? Three weeks later and the press are still going with narrative of the rivalry at Connor Sport. Still! They just need an angle for Silverstone. Paid no attention. But they're right, aren't they? It's not like Kali and Aiden are suddenly treating each other like teammates. They just need time. It took me a while to warn to Aiden back in the day. <sighs> well, that's because you were a grumpy old man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, something's never changed, I guess. Ha! <laughs> now you're just grumpier and older. I'll leave you to it. Ciao. Bye. I like those kind of conversations. Quick, easy, to the point, over and done with. Come on, people, give Devin some time. As much as I hate him, or, well, can't say hate, as much as he's, uh, he's an irritant to me and everything, I don't care for his decisions and stuff like that and uh why not it's uh give him some time man you know found out he's got some medical problems so let him do heal and deal with it you know however long it takes him Connor Sports rivalry. There's uh, still some focus on the press on the rivalry at Connor Sports. Da, 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 da. Uh, Casper, I think we need to discuss the possibilities of telling Aiden and Callie about the terms on the contract with Davinoff. It might stop the infighting and give us all something to focus on. Weather looks pretty good. Probably cloudy to cloudy. Interesting. British GP. With the crowd behind both drivers at the home grand uh, GP, Callie Mayer is fa uh, facing stiff competition from her teammate, Aiden Jackson. What is Aiden's problem? Okay, we'll have a word. He's been so late into these corners, I have no space out here. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk to him, Kelly. This is still about Baku, isn't it?
Oh, what the heck just happened? up these turns. Us with five laps of fuel remaining, five laps of fuel left. You're into P11 now, just outside the points.
Okay, we lost the position, trying to keep focus. Okay, you're in the top ten. Yeah, so I And that's the end of the race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. <sighs> you see, this is just another example of the Connor Sport drivers antagonizing each other. Yeah, but you've got to look at Ackerman as well. He's the one that can sort this situation out so far that he's letting them run wild. His job is to keep control. And no matter what the season, no matter what the driver, Connor Sport just can't seem to gel as a team. So you've got to ask the question, really, what will it take? So after a magnificent race... Ooh, Hamilton. Uh-oh. Callie, this is your first ever F1 race at Silverstone in front of the home fans. So just try to put into words what that means to you. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> it's about the fans, the community. It's a dream come true. Uh, it can be overwhelming at times. Hmm, it's a dream come yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, just to see the number of fans cheering for me really spurred me on today, and 
I used to come here as a little girl to watch the races, so it really means everything. It's a dream come true, to be honest. <laughs> Well, I have to say, it was tight out there once again between you and Aiden. You're not giving each other much space, are you? We're both competitive. It's going to happen. I like that answer. Uh, can't do this. Aiden is prioritizing his performance. I wouldn't have chosen that anyways. Uh, it takes time. Uh, we'll get there. I kind of like that one, too. Um, all I could do is focus on my driving. Uh, No, I like this one. I think I'm going to choose this one. Yeah, well, um, we're both incredibly competitive drivers. <laughs> and we're going to have races where we get in each other's way. It, it happens all the time within teams, you know. Now, naturally, ah. there has been a lot of speculation about the role of your father, Davidoff Butler, in securing your seat at Connorsport. Just what do you say to the critics? As much as I like that previous answer, it didn't work out very well. We didn't get no reputation or anything from that. Um, I'm here because I deserve to be. Uh, it may have helped. Uh, that's the reality of the sport. No, no comment. No, I, I like this one. I like okay, this one. <laughs> well, um, look at Gasly, Leclerc, Russell. And now everyone's suddenly surprised that F1 team signed an F2 champion. I'm here because I can drive. People need to get a grip. Appreciate it. Thank you. No reps on that one either. Dang it. That was a poor decision again as well. Uh, British GP post race, chapter 12. Cowie manages to get the best of Aiden as Silverstone uh, by Corner Sports continues to look like a di team divided. Uh, all right. Well, that was number 12. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, a team in crisis. I can remember my step up. Hey, Mum. Callie. You saw the interview? Would you like some loving parental advice? Uh-oh. Not really. Yeah. All this stuff about your father. I and mean, you do know there's an element of truth to what they're saying. Like it or not, you've got to acknowledge it. I don't have to acknowledge anything. You can't make it go away by ignoring it, Cal. People will say all manner of nonsense if you don't accept it. She's privileged, they'll say. She's out of touch. I don't care what they say about me. Of course you do. You're only human. I'm just here to drive. If only it were that simple, darling. Yeah. Uh, look, I've, I've got stuff to do, okay? Think about it anyway. Lots of love. Hmm. Is Aiden Jackson happy? Uh, the latest paddock rumors. Is Mayor out of touch? She understands it's not uh, easy, right? Yeah, maybe I picked a poor decision on the, that last interview. So with place and welcome points of our corner board from Cal uh, from Mayor. I uh, got it. Got to wonder if they could have gotten more uh, if both drivers weren't trying to get one over on each other. Cali Clay philosophy. Philosophical about these uh, writings with Jackson. Uh, she's right to say they're both competitive, but uh, it'd be nice to see them work together. Uh, no surprise, Mayor got the fastest step out there. She knows the circuit like the back of her hand. Not really. Uh, I didn't know how fast her turns were. Uh, fast flowing it was. Uh, Mayor already comparing herself to Gasly Sarah Russell. I'd be surprised if we even see her next season personally. And like I said, poor decision. And uh, what to pick. That was my bad. Should have picked some better answers. 
Hey, Kelly, about the interview today, just be uh, wary about uh, denying your father's role and getting your seat at Connor Sports. There's a danger of people. You will start thinking you're privileged and out of touch. Spielberg, press call. Hey, team, just a quick message to rem remind you about the future piece as being ran on Connor Sports after Spielberg. Be careful what you say over the over team radio. The press are hungry for each, for every, for even the smallest uh, disagreement at Carnage Sport. So it's better if we don't argue publicly. Great race. See you at the meeting, Andreo. Yeah, I did not like Aiden, not at all. Why not? I thought he was immature about what happened in Baku. I, like, I never really got over it. He was aggressive on track, and the paddock talks. He just wasn't happy at Connor Sport. Thought he was too good for the team. He just had a bit of an attitude problem. It's already complicated, and I've told you they don't need to know. Well, it's your call, of course. But the dishonesty makes me uncomfortable. We'll talk about it later. Yes? Let's make this quick. Or maybe we could give Casper a bit of our time. This wasn't scheduled. What, are you too busy for us now? Just tell them, Casper. Andreo, please. Can we get started? Yeah, Aiden's got a meeting at Mercedes he needs to get to. Enough! Enough! Okay? This... This is what we have to talk about. It has to stop. Understand? If we can't pull together now... If we can't pull together, we are finished. Wait, what does that mean? Andreo? It means that if we don't finish fifth or higher, Butler Global will pull funding. And I don't think we'll find an investor to replace him. Not now. Wait, what? Casper? Yeah, it's true. Well, then we're finished. Andrea? We're finished. So, yeah, Dad brought me onto the team and then immediately threatened to shut it down. Why would he do that? It's kind of his thing. Australian, Austrian GP, one week later. With rain forecast at the Austrian GP, car sports are hoping that the gamble of an early pit stop for Cali pays off. Okay, Kelly, I'm sure you've got questions, but we think we know what we're doing here. We've got information that says more rain's coming, and so, because we're the first ones to come and make this change, we can turn it into an advantage. So on your outlap, let's make it all count. Copy that. Aiden's in the pits. Aiden in the pits. DRS has been disabled by the stewards. DRS will be offline. Wait for further updates. Weather. 
the uh the rain drop which you never gonna uh, Anticipate an end to this rain in around five minutes. This is 4.2 seconds. Truck one in there. Our gap to the car in front is two point three seconds. Uh, four. Oh, here's Jackson.
been over that now. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 4.1 seconds. Man, I hate that turn. Okay, looks like some of those puddles are clearing. We're still definitely on the right side for the time being, but we're probably not a million miles away from slick conditions. DRS is now online. Bring it home. Right, 
and we've got enough fuel for three more laps. Toy missed that one. Oh, got podium first. Congratulations, Kelly. You keep going like that, you might just prove me wrong yet. Kelly. Well, we said at the time that it might have been too soon, but in hindsight, Coppersport really did make the right call. May have made the pit stop, changed to wet tyres ahead of everybody else. That was a real turning point in the race. Yeah, you've got to get these decisions right, and not everyone did today. It's great to see Coppersport taking their chances like that. Wonderful race by Mayer. If they want to improve on last season, they've got to try and do something different. Well, they did that today, they timed it well. Mayer, well, she continues to impress. Welcome then to the podium, our top three drivers. What a great effort from them today in a very difficult race. Oh yeah, finally. Here's our P1. The first trophy of the season. And we know the rest. Austrian GP fortune favors the bold. Uh, the early tire change allowed Kelly to get a jump on her competition in the midfield and secure a solid finish for Connor Sports at the Red Bull Ring. I should enjoy that. Race. Kelly, great race. What do you mean, prove you're wrong? I was just trying to congratulate you, that's all. Prove you wrong about what exactly? I didn't mean anything by it. I was just saying well done. By reminding me how little you actually believe in me. Callie. You are a piece of work. But it was a great race. You said you'd keep him away from me. I'll talk to him. How is he getting involved on comm? Well, he didn't ask, he just did it. Yeah, he'll do whatever he wants until someone stops him. I said I'll talk to him. That was a great result out there today. Let's forget about your father, okay? Yeah. Good. Looks like he's found someone else to talk to anyway. <sighs> Anywho. Uh, that was... Yeah. Trackside chess, David Baller on Connor Sports. Yeah, of course. Casper. Hey, look, I'll put measures in place to clamp down on who can access Team Radio now. Thanks, I guess. Mm. Look, it turns out your father talked Mark into it. Says something like, you're not going to keep me off Team Radio on my own team. <sighs> yeah, well, I guess Mark can be a bit of a pushover at times. Um, look, I've stopped Davidoff from attending this press thing later, so that's something at least. Oh. Thanks for that. How did he take it? Uh, didn't like it. I think he sees all of this as publicity for Bottler Global. Yeah, sounds like Dad. Yeah. Look, I'll stop by later too. So see you there. See you there. Uh, yeah, she's still not happy. All right, Jason Crow. What, Mom? Mom? Kelly, I just got your text. Prove him wrong. He's got a nerve. He really gets to me, Mum. I know I shouldn't let him, but I can't bear it. Him and his little games. Call him out on it, Callie. Say something. I did. I spoke to him. And? He said he didn't mean anything by it. He said I did well today. Unbelievable. What else do you expect? An apology? I, I don't know what to do. You keep driving, Callie. That's all you can do right now. The rest is just fluff. If only it were that simple. Oh, fair point. Don't envy you, darling. Not one bit. I'll leave you be. 
Bye, Mum. Oh, we bought a couple of funding. Da, 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 whatever, okay. Uh, Nicky Law, Lada, and the Curve. Uh, the Ferris's name, a fitting tribute. Mm -hmm. Social. Now uh, it feels bad for ever doubting Mayor. Uh, that was a performance of a future world champion. Better f believe it. As I go on to almost say something else. Incredible win for a Cali Mayor official. The future of Connor Sports is looking bright. Well, let's, let's hope so. Whoops. New comms clearance protocol. Hey, everyone, just an email to outline them. To do, okay. So, uh, please be careful. Press and socials. Uh, are currently speculating over the team's financial situation as ever we ask you all to be careful when and where you discuss team related is uh, business uh, congratulations to everyone on the team uh, on the tire strategy uh, team quick reminder about the press uh, call today after the race it's a big uh, feature piece okay all right well we did an extra chapter today and everything, so this video just lasts a little bit longer. Uh, I hope you enjoy, and uh, let me know what you think so far. Um, and as always, stay healthy.